everybody welcome back to another edition of the ecostructure machine expert hbac in this model what we're going to do is to communicate with the thesis ice so as the machine expert hbc doesn't have a library for this so i can show you how you can communicate with the device so you can read and write data and probably activate the, the load that you have on the thesis and how to read the inputs and activate the output. So let's have a look first to one documentation that we have. So if we we must take a look on this document, which is a third-party function block guide. So basically here give us an explanation of different um, communications that we have and how we can access the data. On the M172, we only cover model by TCP, so we focus in this particular model on this model of TCP with the test side. So, uh, all the things. as you may know, in the test side, we have different avatars, and the avatars it could be one single model or a combination of models so it would depend if you have for example a switch or a switch with seal or two motor motor one direction or motor two direction it will have different avatars of models that we have okay it doesn't mean that you have one motor or you have one model and one avatar it could be that you have one avatar and two models so that's something that we need to cover and that will be something important at the time that we want to use, for example, this, the uh, power interface with I.O. Because the position that we have of the models and the avatars in the rack, okay, on the test system, will give us information where to point to read and write. Okay, so that's something important. There's a lot of things important here, but I'll just give you some ideas this introduction so some of the system information is going to be in the unit id so we need to change the unit id to be 255 then depend on the position we need to increase one two and so on depending on the model as it's shown here okay so if we continue with this this uh guide the hardware guide for this function block C party will give us an idea of where to read information and how to read it okay so you can see here i have the system avatar it gave me the address to read and where to write okay write and read an idea of how you can make your own function block which is good then you have the switch you have digital io where to read everything in there then you have the possibility to check at the end so there is a lot of avatars so there's a lot of things to do. Uh, if you go up to the end, you have you have different uh, communications, okay, Profinet, Profibus, and Eternal IP. That I not cover it in this part because uh, this model is for the M one seventy two communication with the Texas Island, and the only one right now is uh, model TCP. So. But at the end, you, then you have the possibility to read more in details about the different data that we have on the um, on the test side. What does it mean, for example, trip or you have the force mode? You have more information about the different IOs. So probably if you go above and check and check every function block, is not described it in there. So here is where you need to take a look. Um, for example. In particular case, I was looking for example date and time. How is the data? And I found it over here. Okay. That this is covered later. We're gonna see a video how to read and write the data on the controller. So what I have done is just a library, a small library, and how we can connect to the test design and how to read and write and activate the load and so on. So I have on the bench the test is island you can see the first one the red the red one the green one is the bus coupler okay it's going to be the system and then next to it they have an analog io then i have digital io and i have two starters okay so this configuration needs to be done on the um on so move and then you can download it and it's important that you match the same hardware configuration that you have the real life with the one software otherwise 
uh, you probably get a pre-operational state and you are not going to make it run anything you can connect you can ping it but there is nothing to, to work with because it's pre-operational and when you're trying to connect via SOML you cannot see it and you can see that it's only read only or whatsoever so it's important to match that and it's also important to match the firmware and the DTM and that information is also covered in the DTM release note so take a look on the DTM release note of the test item to see which is the DTM and firmware compatible okay I'm going to explain how to update the firmware of the design. I believe that I can leave that for another video. But now what I want to show you is how you can read and write information in there. So let's see, let's have a look. So I created this, this library just for um, to test its purposes and to really know how it works. So if you're familiar with machine expert with the one with the 241 and 262 uh i had created a library similar to that okay so we know where are the things so i got a system control which is the system control for the complete unit okay for the complete bus copper where i can reset trip in case i want it and it give me the operational state so i just drag and drop it into the code that so if I go to watch and drag and drop the avatar one, you can see that the island is operational, okay, which is good. And if we go to the MOT OTM admin, uh, see, let's see. you can see the full control and the status is operational now if i want to for example um force something here <coughs> force one yes yeah, okay you can i believe you hear the the contactor but you can see this in force mode and here you can see i'm in force mode so i'm reading this so this part is simple the idea for you is not to think too much in this particular case if you're using machine expert hvac just use a block to read and the data and that's it um so and then not apply and then force mode uh not apply control panel operational force mode Diagnostic exit force mode, and you can see here the force mode is off. Okay, so I'm reading the actual status on the data, which is the same that we have in the old software machine expert, not the HVAC. So then we have some function blocks related to the avatars. So I didn't spend too much time on this, but I have created some of the basic, which is the uh, analog. IO and digital IO and then the motor one direction okay which is this one probably need to change the logos but motor one direction so I just drag and drop it into the code then one important thing is that in order to read the data I have created an structure so uh, this structure is called here my island and is over here in types and I have this. I have the IP address that the test is item will have. The number of avatars that you're going to have. And in my case, it's going to be four avatars. And then a timeout. And then I have something to indicate, which is the actual test is item that is working or not. Uh, there's nine communication. So I create some kind of sequence in order to say, okay, I'm ready for, I, I, I have the communication with the avatar one, then after I finish this, I go to the next one, next one, next one, and then go back. It's like a sequence. So if you take a look now here in the watch and take a look on the on this, you can see there is an avatar exchange number. At least one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is the indication of the communication that they have. Okay, with all of them. So I follow like a sequence. And 
I have this function block, the initial one in the boot, just to define the IP address that I want and numbers of avatars. This is just a quick introduction of how this library works and the thing that I have done in order to use it. So I have created some kind of sequence in order to read each of the avatars, and then in each avatar I have my own sequence in order to read and write the information. So um here if you go here control avatars you can see there is no error whatsoever so system control is already done it's already covered it's just here is the information you have the possibility to reset the trip then i have the analog io so in particular case i have the analog io connected to the uh, analog input so if i go here and select i don't know four five six should be able to see this value or close value here okay so i'm connecting and sending the data in a loop if i just to show you this works it doesn't come out with uh, anything we are let's go to the um, avatar view so we should be able to see this information here okay as you can see it's in there so i'm sending the information so if i press uh five zero zero Okay, and if I go back here, five milliamps. Okay, so you can see you're really seeing that I'm sending information and writing it. Okay. Um, now, let's put this in false. So the important thing is here is the structure that has information for us to communicate. Then as soon as you activate this, enable, then the sequence will start. Um, but it's important to match the sec numbers of the avatars here for digital input let's see digital input i'm going to activate this that and then i'm going to force this okay you can see that i'm receiving the one from the plc and here let's force one and one one and the three okay it's forcing in one so you can see this works okay and reading something and writing so this function will be worse what's important is to define the position in my case you can see here i have the avatar position one and position two okay two and one so now what i'm going to do is to stop this go back here and delete the force not apply not apply so if we go back here, diagnostic, exit force mode. Okay, and that's it. So now we have the reset, um, the motor one direction. I have two. You will probably hear it. Let's hope for that. But uh, let's see this. So I'm going to run this. I believe you hear it. So if we go back here, S land to one direction, you see there is on. So let's put the watch here and drag and drop the run motor one and two here. One. And two. And put this one over here. So, so the idea is to show you this all together at the same time that it works. So remember that we have a sequence of the Iceland, okay? So we have some kind of delay. As you can hear the sound. Now the same can be applied with the other one. Motor number two. Okay, this is the number two. Here the sound. Let's go for the other one. It's on. And then I'm gonna put up. And you can hear it, the sound. So this is just an example of how to exchange information 
uh, the idea for you is to use the, the library and work on that one so you can easily read and write information if you're working with this um with these avatars okay i haven't expanded yet okay but it's gonna be a work in progress um but the idea is to show you how you all the things that you need in order to access to the device and work with it so it's important to match the amount of avatars that you have then define of course mode of tcp in this particular case if you're using 172 and then use the library in case you want it or just create your own function blocks so for example let's see um, this one analog ideas i created this so i have my own structure i have my own thing that how to read how the different steps okay this can be easily done starting from scratch or use the library so it's up to you the important thing is where to get this information or how do i know that i need to read this or write this is came from here this is the manual that is going to help you in case you want to develop your own libraries okay or using a different plc this is how you need to do it okay so um we will cover later the different um uh, avatars that we have in order to go further how it works the ts to use to have a overview of what we are going to cover in this model the communication with the test asylum okay and uh, i will share the library in case you want to go further so thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one <music>